Welcome everyone to April's review for the Mixit Brand Index. It was a, a fascinating month for us. Obviously the elections and all the activity was uh, very exciting on the platform. The big mover was DA and this was really down to this amazing game that they built onto their app called the Democracy, where literally you could get to be president and you ran your own little country making decisions, highlighting the pitfalls of uh, the DA's competitors and through that process guys were engaging in the game for ridiculous amounts of time and they could win bursaries uh, for educational purposes. Uh, I think they gained 200,000 users over the month but the big thing was showcasing that our user has an appetite to play and engage with brands uh, intellectually stimulating content like that was just a massive massive success. So well done to the DA. The fast food category c continues to resonate with our user the um, KFC move up to 830,000, which is amazing for a brand. It shows the scale of users on Mixit. The best thing for me about the KFC success story is they're not trying to reinvent the wheel. There's no silver bullet. They see us as a media channel with six and a half million active monthly users. They pick the users they want to talk to and they send their messages, whether it's a Mother's Day promotion targeting towards you know kids and fathers, or it's a family day promotion targeted towards females, or whether it's a streetwise campaign targeted to our community because they know that value proposition resonates with our user and gets them into store. So KFC have got the formula right. Uh, for me it's, it's a great success story. It is something I've been very positive about throughout that we are a media channel and you don't always need this amazing social media silver bullet. Uh, users are interested in offers and deals and talk to them as such. Uh, Nando's along similar lines they're also moving up and they've just made it into the top 40 of the mix of brand index and considering they've only been around since December 2013 that's quite an effort. Uh, and again, I think they're starting to understand the simplicity of the platform um, and, and how to gain users and talk to them. Congratulations to FNB, who after a long haul finally make it into the top 10. Uh, for me, it's so exciting because it's a great brand, obviously uh, the most exciting banking brand in the country now by some distance. But as I've said previously on this, on this um, show, they, they just do it so well. There's value for the user and that's what it always comes down to. What's in it for the consumer? This is not about a brand having a voice for the sake of having a voice, but actually about understanding the user wants financial tips, financial information, a budget tracker, uh, information around their sponsorships for, for the Varsity Rugby and Athletics. So a mixture of you know, information, uh, product opportunity and, and some fun stuff around their sporting sponsorship. So well done to them on, on finally bursting into the top 10. And then a, a, a very momentous occasion for, uh, for Mixit is we finally have a brand which has burst through the 2 million subscriber mark which is Supersport. And again this speaks to the simplicity of our user having an appetite for, for access to information, sporting results, sports stories which Supersport is currently providing them in a very simple format. And the same way you know, the top end of the market is able to access this through our fancy apps on smartphones and internet access via desktop and, and mobile handset. So we're giving our user the same information in a watered down version in a cost effective manner. So congratulations to Supersport. We're currently working with them on an app rebuild, uh, which is you know, a very exciting landscape for us and them. And hopefully that will see them push on even higher. That's it for me. See you in May.